channel welcome if you guys are new my name is Ding and this is Ding's Adventures where I share my love and addiction for all things Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel. Now in today's video it has to do with Disney fairy tale weddings. If you guys are new to my channel I'm actually a 2023 Disney bride. Yes I am getting married through Disney fairy tale weddings. I'm so excited I'm getting married finally this fall i'm so stinking excited um but i thought it'd be fun to rate the disney fairy tale wedding dresses so if you guys didn't know they put out a collection every single year and the gowns are inspired by disney princesses um i believe i tend to like aurora's dresses um and pocahontas like the most from what i remember and then a little bit of like rapunzel tiana and snow white i believe but I'm pretty sure this collection includes like two, three dresses each princess. Now it's not every single Disney princess. It's kind of like, I guess, the more popular ones. So they put out this collection. They did a whole fashion show. Um, so I am going to watch the fashion show and kind of pause here and there. And we're going to talk about the details of the dress and kind of rate it. I'm going to rate them out of crown. So out of five. Um, before we get into it, disclaimer, these are just my personal opinions these dresses are gorgeous the women wearing them gorgeous um they're absolutely stunning so we're just gonna rank them i think i'm only gonna give a dress of five if it's a dress i would want to wear on my wedding day or at least try on so let's get into it i'm going to be putting a bigger screen of the fashion show so you guys can see i will be linking the video and the collection website down below so you guys can check out the dresses as well the first disney princess we're starting with is snow white now this fashion show is actually taking place at the disneyland resort um in anaheim california so first dress i see some bell sleeves and like a heart shape neckline which i love sleeves on wedding dresses and the heart shape like neckline that's like my favorite so any of the dresses that have that i probably really really like it looks like it might be a ball gown like bottom which i don't really like personally it's just too poofy for me Stunning. She looks gorgeous. Wow. The top, I actually really, really like. The flowers, the details, and everything. Let's see if we can pause it right here. Oh my god. I really liked the sleeves. It's definitely Snow White vibes with the floral. And I love, ugh, I just love the top. It looks really, really nice. And the bottom's very, very simple, um, which is very Snow White esque. So I really, really like this one. Oh, I like it a lot. I would probably give it like a four four crowns it's really really pretty and it has like kind of a small train in the back and it looks like wow it has like a scoop back so it goes really low that's a little bit scary for snow white i feel like but it's absolutely stunning um really love the top of the dress um i feel like if they would have added more details at the bottom it might have been too much but um yeah, I'm gonna give this one a four. It is, ugh, I love the top of it. Like, do you see that? Absolutely gorgeous. Next dress we have here. Let's see. Okay, I'm not sure if I like the top of it with the straps, but it's very, very glittery. Let's see if we can stop it. Can't really see the top. There looks like there's sparkle on the dress. I'm not sure about the top of it. I don't know if I would like that kind of cut in a dress. Um, it's really pretty dress, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it'd be something that I would be into. Hmm. Mm, I don't know, guys. It's just the cut. I don't like the cut of it but the detail in it is really really nice you have some it looks like some floral design on the top that like slowly works way to the bottom and then there's like a lot of sparkle and like the skirt of the dress if that makes sense i don't know terms it's really bad um 
I also want to give this one like a 2, 2.5. It's not my style. Does it look, she looks absolutely gorgeous in it, but it's not my style. I think I just don't like the layout of the top. It being like straight like that. Um, I don't know. But she looks stunning in it, these girls. And we have the third dress. I remember seeing this dress and following like this dress is gorgeous. It automatically gets a five crown. Like, do you see that? Do you see it? You have the bell like puff sleeves, but then you have the lawn sleeve in it, the heart shape. And there's like sparkle and like the flower detail. I like love the top of it, like the heart shape and the sleeves are just like so gorgeous. I love this dress. I get, it definitely gets a five. It's very Snow White-esque for sure. Very Snow White. I would say it's my favorite of the three. It's just stunning. Like, do you see it? This one's gorgeous. I would definitely want to try this one on if I were to like be wedding to dress shopping. Um, for these dresses, I would definitely want to try this one on. I don't know if it'll look good on me, but like, it's stunning. It is such a nice dress. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So beautiful. Like, so beautiful. And you have all like the florals on the bottom of the dress coming up. Oh, this one's like really, really pretty. And I really, really like it. Like, girl. And the back has a little opening. This one, wow. Just wow. It's so pretty. And there's like sparkles in that sleeve, that sheer sleeve, which is really, really nice. Absolutely love. That's probably my favorite one out of the Snow White ones. Now we're moving on to Cinderella. And before we get into Cinderella, Cinderella's dresses tend to be the ball gown looking ones, which is not my favorite. I don't really like the puffy skirts. I don't know if it's cause like I am short. So if I wear like a ball gown dress, I feel like I would just look like a little kid playing dress up. Um, I'm really short guys, like I'm 4'10", 4'9"-ish. Um, so like, that's just, you know, <laughs> I don't wanna look like a kid that's playing dress up in these dresses, you know? Um, so for hers, I feel like they would be like maybe heart shape on the top, but then ball gown-esque. So let's get into it. And I was right, the first one is heart shape and it's ball gown. Let's see those details. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know about this one. I don't think I like it. But let's see some closer details. Hmm. We're gonna pause. I don't. I don't like this one. I like the heart shape and it looks like it has like a little um, sheer for a little bit of like the cleavage, you know what I mean? Like the sheer in the middle. Um, it looks nice, but not for me. I don't know, this just reminds me of like the old 2000s like prom dresses, like no offense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. Is it very Cinderella-esque? Very much so. But I feel like it needs to be giving me more. I don't know. I just don't like it. I'd probably rate it like a two, honestly. Okay, this one looks pretty nice. She has some sparkle in it. Oh, here. I like this one a lot. It has like these nice straps too. This one's really, this one's pretty. Oh my god. I would try this one on for sure. So it has like these little straps here with the heart shape. It looks like it has a lot of detail in the top, like bust area and like the sparkle on these dresses. Maybe it's just the lighting that they're using in this show, but it looks stunning. This one's really, really pretty. I would definitely want to try this one on. This one has a lot of sparkle in it. It's like a glass slipper. Oh my god. I don't know if it's very much Cinderella-esque. I would have to like look at her dress. I don't have a picture of it, like, and I can't remember off the top of my head. 
Um, but I love the sparkle, actually. I really like it a lot. It's very Cinderella-esque with the sparkle. I'd probably give this one a five crowns. I would definitely want to try that one on. That one's super pretty. Oh my god. This one? This is Cinderella? Huh. It gives me more of like Aurora vibes than Cinderella vibes. Oh no. Okay, this one's really, really gorgeous. I like the sleeves that come down on the shoulders. Those are really nice. I don't know what they're called. But like the top of it is giving me very much Aurora vibes. Um, it's really pretty. I love the silhouette of it. The only thing I don't like, which you guys will see closer, is it has like a detachable like skirt. Um, I've seen these before where you would like, you can wear the skirt um, during the ceremony, like your first dance and stuff. And then you take it off like when you're ready to party and stuff like that at the reception. I'm not a fan of those. I think it's a really nice, neat idea. But I don't know. I personally don't like it. Um, because I don't know. I feel like it just looks weird. You know? Like it's obviously not completely attached to the dress. Oh, this one's hard. I feel like I want to give it like a four though. Because the detail in the front of the dress. We're going to back up a little bit. The detail like at the bottom, like below her waist, like that detail is super, super nice. And it kind of reminds me of Padme's dress, the details in her dress. <sighs> yeah, I think I want to get it at least a four. I just don't like the skirt of it. Everything else is fine, but I don't like the skirt of it where you can detach. And it looks like the skirt is like super, super sparkly. Is really really nice and the back of it looks really, really nice I just don't like that it's like detachable if that makes sense <laughs> moving on to Aurora so out of the Cinderella dresses hmm probably the second one maybe is probably my favorite I really like the third one I just don't like the detachable skirt now we're moving on to Aurora and like I said Aurora is usually the one I tend to like the most Here she comes. Okay. Mm. Hmm. This one looks. This one looks like it's um very minimalistic in the front. Now it looks like the top has a very much so like corset vibe. If that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna pause it in a minute. Let's see. Okay. So the top has that corset in the front where you can see the line details of the outline of the corset, which is really, really nice. And then it looks like it has some ruffling on the top of the heart shape, which is really, really nice. Now the front, I don't know, it looks kind of plain to me. I like the top half. The detail in that is really, really nice. I'm not into the whole like minimalistic plain dresses. Like I like the very unique ones, the ones that stand out lots of lace glitter the sleeves the everything um i do like the top of it though let's see the back of it i'm pretty sure the back of it had a nice back yeah so i don't know if you guys can see it but the back of it has an open back so like a corset with like some flower detail um which is really nice but i don't like the bottom it's too plain for my taste for me just for me um if they would have added like those sleeves that we saw on the cinderella dress the last cinderella dress that would be absolutely beautiful um i think i want to give this one like a 3.5 only because i don't like the bottom of it and i don't like the plainness but the corset it looks nice the idea was there <laughs> now we have this one this one is a more fitted dress this one's really nice wow <clears throat> oh yeah i like this one this one's really really pretty yeah this one has a lot of detail it looks like a lot of sparkle and everything i love the fit of it it's so pretty like i feel like i hmm, i probably give this one like a four point five this is really nice. I like the train of it. I like the bottom of it. 
It's really nice. I forgot what those, I don't, is it a trumpet shaped dress? I wanna say, which is ones that I actually really, really like. Um, I love the details, the sparkles, and it looks like she has a button down um, on the back, which, oh, I love dresses like that. If it was like um, the ones that are like minimal, plain, and have the buttons, so beautiful, like so beautiful. I really like those details of the buttons going down the back. So, so nice. Oh, this one's really, really cute. This one's nice. I like this one a lot. So I went in full point five. I want to say, or maybe a five. Mm. Now this one is definitely a five. I know this one, they do it every single year, but they make subtle changes to it. They do this one for more every time. And this one is like the top pick on my wedding dress, Pinterest, like board. This is beautiful. I love the sleeves. I love the whole silhouette of it. It has the heart shape. It's like, I believe in A line, which I like. It's not too poofy, but not too tight. It's like just in between. You have the floral detail. The sleeves are amazing. There's some dresses that have the sleeves like this, and you can wear the sleeves during the ceremony, your first dances, stuff like that, and photos, and then you can take them off, and it looks like a completely maybe new dress, and like, you know, party in it, and it looks really nice. I love this one, automatically five. Five. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Like, I would wear this dress for my wedding. For sure. It's gorgeous. And I love it so much. Like, it's so beautiful. It's so stunning. Like, it's so pretty. It has the sparkles. It has the flower details. Even on the sleeves, it has the flower details. And then the back, I believe, has the button down. Does it? Mm, I don't know. I can't really tell. I thought it did, but it's chef's kiss and I love it and I want it so so bad so so bad so out of the Aurora dresses definitely the last one is my favorite because like I said that's a dress I would wear to my wedding honestly and my wedding is a Star Wars themed one um that would be my dress automatically now we're moving on to Ariel's dresses so with Ariel's dresses they tend to be mermaid silhouette so they're very very tight and everything um so let's see I don't think usually aerial dresses are my favorite just because they're so like tight um but let's see this one looks like it has a lot of sparkle in it look at her look at her walk yes okay wow this one's really, really sparkly which we love has a nice train heart shape top which we love looks like it has some sleeves I actually really like this one. This one reminds me of the dress where she's wearing and she's walking out of the ocean. So that's probably my, like, my favorite Ariel outfit, honestly. Let me know if you guys agree because it's so pretty. It's sparkly and it's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and that's what this dress kind of reminds me of. I can't remember what the top of that dress looks like. I want to say it kind of looks like this, except for hers is more flowy in the movie. But it has that same sparkle which is amazing. And I don't know if you guys can see it, definitely go on the website and check out these details in this dress because it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Be I don't know if it's like sequins or like beading, but it is gorgeous. You have a nice train and then the back of her dress has like, um, what would you call it? Like a tie in the back where it has like, you can tie a bow and it's like in tool. And that's beautiful, that's stunning. <sighs> mm. Mm, I want to give it a five. I personally probably wouldn't wear this dress. It's not catered to the theme of my wedding. Um, ugh, but I think I want to give it a five. Like, it's stunning. The back and the little peak opening. Stunning. The sparkle. And I love the cute little bow detail. That's really, really nice. Bows are definitely in, in weddings lately. <sighs> this one. I remember this one. And this one, I absolutely love. Like it's stunning. It has the sparkle, it has all the details. And if you guys can't see, I'm gonna pause it in just a moment here. Let's pause it. If you can see on her um, shoulders, she has like this pearl like beading. 
How does that not scream Ariel or like mermaid-esque ocean vibes? It's stunning. Like it's gorgeous. I really like that detail. It's very like subtle and it's gorgeous. And like the heart shape, you have all like the, I can't tell if it's bean or whatever, but it's definitely really pretty. You have the nice tight fit of it. I really like the pearl detail of it. And then you have like a train, which is really nice. And then she even has the pearls in the back. Like, and it's like a low scoop back. And then there's like the pearls, like, I don't know if you guys saw that. Let me rewind and show it again. Like it's stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at her working. And then she fits the aerial vibes with the hair. Like stunning. I would give this one probably a five. I take back the last one. I would give that one like probably like a four and this one a five. Because that one is stunning. Out of those two, definitely the second one because I really like the pearl detail. It's just stunning. The mermaid vibes and pearls are in um, as well. Pearls and like bows and I feel like gloves and like sleeves. Those are like the trendy things that are happening right now, which I love all of them. So next we're moving on to Belle. Now I believe there's only one dress for Belle and what I can remember, I didn't really like it. So let's see it. Here it is, it is very much bell vibes very much we have like the sleeves and it looks like bell's dress from the movie the yellow one the gown but to me it's just too plain now i will say i believe from what i remember the back of the dress has a really nice detail um but the front it's just not doing it for me and I feel like some wedding dresses, the front will be so plain, but then you look at the back and the back is like so stunning, which is great-ish. Um, if you're taking pictures of the gown in the back or taking pictures of like, say the groom is facing this way, the bride's facing this way. It's very romantic, very, very cute and nice to see those details in the back of the dress. But it's just like, there's nothing in the front. So it's like, mm, I don't know. I would want a dress that has details in the front and the back. You know what I'm saying? And this one just like in the front, it's not doing it for me. But in the back of it, it looks really, really gorgeous. Like you guys will see here. She's going to do a turnaround. And let me see if I can pause it. Okay, so first detail is it has kind of like the corset ribbon tying in the back, which is really, really nice detail. Then you have this nice bow and then it kind of like I don't know what the word is it kind of goes down like this on the dress which is really really beautiful and then at the bottom I believe there's like lace and like the flowers see gorgeous the back of the dress gorgeous gorgeous roses but the front of it is just not doing it for me I don't know it's just me I'd probably give this one like a three point five maybe just because the front of the dress is not doing it for me but the back of the dress love love absolutely love so i think that's the only bell dress that they have so that would be obviously my favorite um but it just you know what i'm saying i hope you guys understand what i'm saying let me know what you guys think now we're moving on to jasmine here okay so this one has sleeves it looks like some tool sleeves very Jasmine-esque. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Oh, look at Jasmine. Does she have? Oh, she has the sleeves that go like this. But I believe she has an outfit that is purple and has like those longer, puffier lawn sleeves. Does that make sense? I don't know what they're called. And that's what this dress has, basically. Okay, and this one's nice. A lot of these dresses actually have the heart shape, which, again, I love. I'm not sure how I feel about the sleeves though. I'm gonna pause it right here. The sleeves. I don't think I like the neck of it. Like it looks like there's like a neck piece you have to put on that attaches to it and then attaches to your wrist. And I don't know. I don't like it, I think. And then you have like the shape like this. Um, overall, the dress is very, very pretty. It looks like I have a lot, a lot of beading and sparkles and stuff like that. Um, 
but I don't like the neck thing. Like, I don't know why it's like that. Huh. Cause I feel like the neck thing is like tool too. If it was more like a different fabric, maybe I would like it, but it's not. I don't think it looks like it's tool. Hmm. Maybe it isn't. No, it's like sparkly thing. It looks like the sleeves open right here in the inner arm. The back of it looks pretty nice. Nice train and everything has that seam like opening in the back, like in the front. I don't like this big chunky thing around the neck. That's just me. I'd probably give this one like a three or two and a half. I just don't really like the sleeves. It's not, it's not doing it for me. Okay, next one we have here, it looks like a halter top dress. I personally don't like halter tops, probably because I'm a bigger chest girly, so I don't like tops like that. It works very well if you have smaller girlies, you know what I mean? Um, hmm. It was really pretty, but I don't like the top that much. Like for me, it wouldn't fit me very well or look very well because I'm bigger chested. Um, if you're smaller, yes. The detail, do you see the detail in the dress? Wow. I really like the bottom, the beading, the details, and everything look really, really nice. I'm gonna stop it right there. So, I have dresses that are actually similar to this on my Pinterest board where the bottom has all that middle detail and everything. And it's really nice in that same kind of train, but it's not a halter top thing. So I do really like this, but I just don't like the halter top of it. But it's really, really pretty. Wow. And then it looks like the back has a nice scoop back opening. Uh, probably give this one a three or something. <sighs> but if I had to choose between the two, I feel like the first one was more Jasmine-esque. But no offense, I didn't really like either. Maybe because I just didn't like the top half of it. But they were both stunning dresses. So, mm, it looks like I'm not a fan of the Jasmine ones. Now, moving on to Pocahontas. And Pocahontas, I tend to like her dresses because they're just stunning. So, let's see here. Oh, this one has one of those, like, one sleeve strap. I don't know what it's called. And it has a slit too. It looks like she has like a fabric hanging off as well. Let's see, we're gonna stop it right here. So you have the slit and then the sleeve that goes like this. It looks like the dress has the branches on it detailed. So flowers, they're like branches. Okay, we're gonna stop it here. Gorgeous. This one's really, really pretty. I really like the slit detail, very Pocahontas-esque. And then, isn't her outfit? Yes. Her outfit is like that, isn't it? It is. Oh, yes. So Pocahontas is a dress in the movie, is one strap like that. So that's a very nice detail. And then it looks like it's like um see-through, what would you call it, like sheer toward the top of it. And they have the branches. The branches are just stunning. And then it looks like on the shoulder, that shoulder that has the strap has like a, a cape, a, I don't know what you call it, but it has a fabric attached to it, which is, would be really great for pictures. And then cover the wind vibes. Stop. This one's really stunning. I really like the branches instead of flowers, it's branches. The slit is really, really gorgeous. We have a nice train. The back, I don't know if you guys can see it. The back has um, the continuous um, branches with the sheer, and then it looks like it has the button down at the bottom. <sighs> you could definitely take off that poly, that fabric, just use it for the pictures, ceremony, and stuff like that, and then take it off. So when you're dancing, or when you're dancing, you can use it as like a boa. Is that what they're called? The feathery stuff, a boa? I wanna say it's like a boa. <laughs> This one's really, I would probably get this one a 10, a 10, a five, sorry. <laughs> so in love already. <laughs> this one's really pretty too. It's 
Tá. Okay. Now the first one is giving me very much Pocahontas vibes when she's like in America. And then this one's giving me more Pocahontas like too when she goes to like England. <laughs> but this one's really stunning. You have the sleeves that are sheer with the branches. You kind of have that scoop, which is really nice. I think I like that style as well. Oh, I really like the branches detail. Like instead of flowers, they're like branches and leaves. I love Pocahontas. Pocahontas is actually one of my favorite princesses. So this is just a stunning. This one's really nice. For some people, I feel like it might be too much because it looks very like crowded in the top, like the chest area. There's a lot of branches and everything and they flow down and then they also come up as well so it might for some people maybe too much detail in the top but i i love it it's so pretty it's so stunning wow this one's really really pretty it looks like it has a opening in the back i can't really tell because the girl's hair is very long um but gorgeous definitely a five those both were just like stunning if i had to choose one over the other probably the second one i would probably wear more because that's just more my like fitted style that I like of the dress um but both deserve five crowns they're both very stunning <laughs> now we're moving on to Tiana I tend to actually kind of like Tiana's dresses so let's see here we have color me Courtney I believe that's her Instagram handle she's looking gorgeous this dress was shown in the intro of the passion show. I kind of skipped over that part. And this one's really pretty. Wow. Guys, this one is gorgeous. I like it. It has the heart shape. It has the sleeves. What I like about those sleeves is that they're not attached to the dress. So you can definitely just remove them, you know? which is really nice. I like the flow of the tool, which is really nice. You have that same heart shape top, which is nice. And then it's fitted. This one looks super sparkly. Gorgeous. She looks great. Wow. So it has like floral details on the top of that sleeve. And then it's like a tool, like, would you call it like a bell sleeve? I don't know, or it's like flared out, which is really nice. Great for pictures. And then you have all the details in the dress on the top going all the way down to the dress. <sighs> I'd probably give this one like a five. <laughs> I would probably want to try it on. Um, I will say the sleeves are probably not my favorite. I don't think I would want something that flowy. Um, I would want something more like Aurora's dress, but this one is is it Tiana vibes? I'm not sure. The back. <gasps> stunning. And this one's really gorgeous. She looks great in that. Stunning. Yeah, definitely give that one a five. This one. I remember this one. This one's stunning. Is it my taste? Probably not. I'm going to talk about it first because I do remember this one. This one has the fringe on the top, I believe, and then on the sleeves, which is really stunning. And I actually have a dress on my Pinterest that is very, like, similar to this one. And at first I was like, oh, I like this dress a lot. And then I was showing, like, my dad and my sister, and they were just like, mm, I don't know if that fits your theme. And I don't know if I really like it because I think I said, oh, I really like this dress, but I would cut off the fringe or, like, not have the fringe of it. But for Tiana, it makes perfect sense, you know. <sighs> it's stunning. You guys have to look at this dress. It's gorgeous. The fringe is everything. And it looks like it has some beading or fringe on the top of the strap right here. I don't know if I like that as much. But, like, the fringe along the sleeves and the chested area, really nice. Wow. Oh, I didn't stop it in time. Let's go back. Let me see if I can pause it so we can see the details on this dress. Wow, 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 wow. Gorgeous. I really like the details in the dress. Again, it reminds me of kind of like Padme's. Have you ever seen Padme's dress? But it is stunning. It is gorgeous. And it's detailed just like this one. 
on like the waist down it's really pretty on the fringe i really like this one personally for me it's like a no so i'd probably give this one like a 4.5 it's really nice i really like the fringe detail like that was very nice this next one is i guess supposed to be more tiana in her green dress i want to say So we have some floral details, some sparkle. We have like this, I don't know what the top would be called. <sighs> I don't know if I like the top, like it's a really pretty dress. Like, don't get me wrong. This is a stunning, stunning, stunning dress. It has kind of like a low V and it has that like sheer theme. I don't know, but I don't know what to call Um, Lots of detail, sparkle flowers everything i don't know if i like the top half that much i probably give this one like a four um not something i would personally wear but i think it looks great on her like it looks stunning and it has that that low back scoop so i think i'm gonna give this one like a four yeah for sure so out of tiana's dresses i want to say i like the first one better i really like those sleeves and everything look really, really nice but the one with the fringe was really nice, catered toward Tiana. That third one, didn't really like the top of it though, but it was really stunning and it looked really gorgeous on that girl. Like it fit her body very, very nicely. Now we're moving on to Rapunzel. Okay. We have some, looks like more tighted fitted belt sleeves on the top, heart shape kind of neckline now the front of it looks absolutely plain which i don't like considering rapunzel like do you see that she has like a corset top so this is like not doing it for me <laughs> but you guys will see a little bit closer i don't know if you guys will see it in the video uh, i wonder if i can stop it let's see I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is detail in the bust area, like the chest top half. There is detail, but it's very like subtle, very like you can't really see unless you're really looking at the dress, but there is detail in it. And it's really nice. And the bottom is just plain. I really like the sleeves of it. I wish the detail was more noticeable on the top. Maybe that's just me you can't really see it like i don't think you guys can see it at all in this video so definitely like check out like the dresses on the site and the back again we have one of those moments where the back looks stunning like you have more of that floral detail you have like a scoop but it's like sheer and then the button and then it looks like it has more florals like going down the bootay and then the train has florals so the back of the dress Looks stunning, but the front is not doing it for me. <sighs> I still want to get it like a 4 or 4.5 because it's stunning. And I really, really like it. Um, but just the front is not doing it for me. Guys. It's not doing it. So, unfortunate, but it looks really nice. It's just the detail in the front I wish was more noticeable. Now this next one. This is why I like this. I said the first one I like best. Because this next one, I don't know. It's just me. It doesn't give me Rapunzel vibes. That's just me. Um, Rapunzel's my favorite princess. But I just don't like it. It has like the puffy sleeves. The neckline is like all the way up here. Like what? And it just reminds me. I love this person who's wearing it. I watch her YouTube videos. I want to say her name's like... Um, Allison or something like that but it just reminds me of like those old like your grandma's old couch that's like floral like really bright colored couch or a tablecloth I just I don't know let me know what you guys think because I feel like I'm being too harsh on this dress but I really don't like it especially for Rapunzel corset where's the corset-esque of her dress where is it I want it I want it or something even if you like maybe put the corset vibes in the back of the dress or something this is just, i don't know i don't i don't like it this one definitely gets like a two like 
I don't, maybe even the 1.5. I'm sorry. She looks stunning. I love her. She's such a sweet person. And I love her videos and stuff, but I just, their dress is not doing it for me. That's like a couch. The back is nice. The like open back is really nice, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I personally don't like it. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I just don't like it. I believe those are all the princesses. So now they're coming out with the bridesmaids dresses. They did announce they are doing a bridesmaids collection. Um, these dresses have like that sleeve, very common in bridesmaids dresses. Um, and the colors are pink and blue. So very Aurora-esque. And it's kind of funny because originally my wedding theme was like Disneyland Aurora Sleeping Beauty-esque. Um, so this would have worked great for me in my previous theme. I think the dresses are really nice. Um, depending on the price, probably not. I would probably recommend going somewhere else for these, like, bridesmaid dresses. I wish the pink was a little bit more, um, darker. I feel like it's too pale as that's just for me. The blue looks really nice in that Aurora dress. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. All these dresses are gorgeous. That's pretty much it for the fashion show. They just kind of like bring out the rest of the dresses we already saw. Um, I believe the ones I liked the best was probably Pocahontas. And I really like that one Snow White one with the bell sleeve and the lawn sleeve. Um, that Aurora one, of course. I'd probably pick that one out of all of them if I were to wear that to my wedding. And they announced that they're coming out with a new Cinderella coach, which is absolutely stunning. There's only a concept art, but it's supposed to be coming out this fall. And I saw someone, um, I follow like a Disney bride's wedding Facebook page and someone did ask their wedding planner, like, would they be able to use it? Um, they don't have a lot of details on it. Just said that it's coming this year and fall. And I am getting married in the fall. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. Um, but the concept looks stunning. Um, but this collection is gorgeous. Definitely check your like local bridal shops if they do carry these. Um, should say on their website. But they're so pretty. I'll probably say my favorite is the Aurora one. That Snow White one was really, really pretty. They're just all stunning. All stunning. Let me know which one was your favorite or favorite princess. Are you guys getting married? What kind of wedding videos do you want soon? Because getting married this year, it's so Exciting. Um, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video, which is every Friday. And I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye!